Hey everyone, welcome to Kingdom Builder TV. I'm your host, Kelly Mead, and I'm so excited to be joined by a very talented sister duo, Renee, who is celebrating the release of their brand new single, Nothing But Jesus, at Radio Now. Riley and Rachel, how are you guys? Hi! Hey. We're so doing good. so good. How are you? I am great. It's so good to talk to you guys again after we got to meet last summer up here at Kingdom Mountain Festival. It was such a blast. Yes. It was so much fun. Thank you so much for having us on. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. So I know you two have been singing together since you were very young. Can you share like one of your first music memories that you have and who some of your influences were growing up? Riley, I feel like you probably have this question under control yeah, um, I feel, growing up we always would listen to like artists like for king and country and um you know riley clemens and just incredible and it inspired us so much to see just the ministry behind what goes on and like people's hearts and so i think that was one of our earliest memories we're just like going to concerts and um seeing people we love and artists we love and getting to hear their stories that would impact us so much too I remember growing up listening to people's stories and um you know they they change the world they really do matter and so we wanted to have you know just a little small part in a world like that and we're so thankful to have grown up with that environment for sure yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things like that really instilled my love of music too, is going to concerts and getting to, you know, see the artists in person and hear their stories, like you said. And that's something I've really noticed the past couple of years as I have gone to concerts is like seeing the younger kids. And I just yes. get so excited to see them having a blast and hopefully having like their their faith edified through the music being shared. So it's so cool. Absolutely. I love that. I love that that's part of your mission as well. And it was, like I said, it was some of our youngest childhood memories, like going to concerts. You know, that's the thing I remember about being a kid and always going to see these artists that we looked up to so much. And that was just, I'm so glad that we had that background and so thankful that we got to do that when we were little. So the new single, Nothing But Jesus, that's how at Radio Now. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about the inspiration and story behind that? So, yeah, Nothing But Jesus. Um that song is super, super special um, for me and I think Riley as well, because um, going into that right that day, it was such a cool experience. We wrote it with Matthew West and AJ Pruis, um, both who are so insanely talented. It just, you know, blows your mind to even be in the room with someone who is so, so good at what they do. Um, but yeah, going into that right, um, it was in a really dark place in the world at the time. Um, there was so much chaos going on. I mean, it was in the midst of a super rough time for our our world and, and, you know, believers, especially. And, um, I remember going in with this, um, part that was more heavy for like, man, like we need, we need Jesus. This world, you know, needs Jesus so much. And there was a time when we threw out the idea of heal our land, because that is something that's biblical. Um, and so we, tossed that around several times and it ended up being something that we were like yeah we want to write about this so as it went on we got the chorus which is you know nothing but Jesus um is the only answer for the world today nothing but Jesus you know can set us free and so landing on that was just such a cool experience because we were like you know this is definitely where the song needs to go and the direction it needs to take so after writing Nothing But Jesus, I think we all knew like this needs to be the song that we put out to radio because it's such a message that the world needs right now, you know, and it's, I think, an anthem for the world today of, you know, that's what we need. You know, if I'm I'm going to put my faith in nothing but Jesus, that's it, you know, and I think I'm just so excited for people to hear the song. I'm so excited to put it out. I'm so excited for um people to resonate with this I really hope it touches people you know being young people Riley and I being being young ourselves we really want it to impact the youth and what they're going through and they can listen to that and know like hey nothing but Jesus is the answer truly yeah that's so good yeah, that was something when I first heard the song all the way through, like you guys were sharing the teasers and I, my first thought was, oh, this is going to be a good one. So then when I got to hear the full song, I was like, oh my goodness, this song is perfect for coming out right now. And it is something, as you're saying, it's such a needed message in the world today, not just for Christians, but for like everyone to hear. 
and yes. just be reminded of where our faith and our hope and our trust should be placed. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So you kind of touched on it a little bit, but is there like a specific impact that you hope this song will make? I I think my hope for the song is that people can relate to it and resonate with it. And no matter what they're going through and the real things that they're actually going through, they can hear something and find comfort and find peace, knowing that there is an answer. Um, that's my hope for it, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just want people to feel, you know, like they're not alone and we're all in this together and mm -hmm. we do have the answer. And no matter how bleak and dark it looks, that we can have hope. Yes, absolutely. So over the past year, you have had the opportunity to tour with some awesome artists, having been a part of like Winter Jam and the different festivals throughout the year. And I know that you played with Cochrane and Company and Jeremy Rosado at Christmas time. And it just got announced that you'll be back on tour with them in April for a few dates. So what are you looking forward to most about those shows coming up? I am looking forward most to see all the people that we toured with in December. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of the same people, obviously, Michael and, and Jeremy and like seeing all them and um, getting to hang out with them all again. It was so much fun being on that tour. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. And obviously doing the shows and getting to meet new people, going to different places, I feel like is always the most fun. Like stepping out in a city that you've never been or a state that you've never been is just super cool. So as I mentioned, you guys had the opportunity to be a part of the Winter Jam Tour last year. Can you yes. share about your experience with that? Yes. Oh my gosh. Winter Jam was literally like the best three months of our life, I think. It was so much fun. We had a blast. We got to meet so many different people and getting to be on stage like every single night in a new city. And like I said, like being in a new place and um, singing for so many people. It was incredible. It was so cool to meet everybody afterwards. We had that incredible opportunity to do like a meet and greet afterwards. And we got to meet so many new friends and, you know, people that we love and cherish so much now a year later. Um, it was just the best time the best opportunity we loved it so much and getting to we got to go back to the Nashville show um in February and it was so much fun getting to see everybody again it was like a family reunion I felt like it was so much fun yeah and I think that was probably a great way for you to get introduced to more people as well and yeah. um, and I mentioned like I got to see you guys at Kingdom Bound up here in New York which is one of our huge yes. festivals that we have and I just remember thinking that oh these girls are so much fun on stage and I loved the set that you guys played and the songs that you had included with that so that was another fun one yes oh yeah so Kingdom Bound was a blast I remember we we have a song called Winning Team and I remember we um pulled out the Buffalo Bills jerseys <laughs> for that night and we sang winning team while wearing Buffalo Bills jerseys and it was so much fun every like the Bills mafia were going crazy like they loved the whole thing and it was so great and that was that's actually that's one of my favorite tour memories ever was playing yeah. in New York with Buffalo Bills jerseys winning team at a festival with like so many people and they were all just loving the the Bills jerseys yeah. it's great I think and my favorite like tour memory when I think when I think about a tour memory I think about doing when we did the Kansas City Winter Jam that, that was too a, yeah that it's like winning team <laughs> with the jerseys of the hometown just hits different people just, I think it's so much fun to see their faces when we come out and like their team like it's fun yeah the Kansas City Chiefs had just won Super Bowl when we were at the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City and um we came out with these Chiefs jerseys on and the entire crowd like they were just electric it just felt so crazy Wait, they did were so I, I had Mahomes I think and you had Kelsey yeah and it was like two of the biggest people on the team but it was it was so funny to and our drummer was a huge Chiefs fan is a huge Chiefs fan and so he he had a jersey on too so it was like it just completed the look <laughs> it really did it was so fun and you could just hear everybody like screaming when we came out with Chiefs jerseys I know they were so excited. It was great. 
Yeah, that was definitely a fun moment up here, like you were saying, Rachel, with the Bills jerseys. And I know that there's so, so many like massive football fans up here. So I know that was definitely a big hit. <laughs> it, it was. It was great. I, I hope we get to do it again. It would be so, so. much fun. Thinking about the different artists that you guys have already been able to work with, who would you say like are some of your dream collaborations that you have? Um, I definitely have one. Riley, you probably have one too. I'll list off one because there's so many I could write a book. But I think I think a group like an artist that I would really, really want to collab with would be for King and Country because they're brothers and then we're sisters. And I just think it would yep. be such a cool collaboration. Two girls, sisters and two guy brothers. I just I don't know. I think something about that would be really cool. And I'm also just a huge fan of their music. I think, you know what they do is brilliant and how they write and how their live shows. I mean, everything about it is just so creative and, and so fresh and I love everything about them. Yeah, for sure. I agree. That's such a good one. Or like an all girls record, like get a Ooh, bunch yeah, of that'd be cool. in the that'd music be cool. and do an all girls record. I feel like that'd be so cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. So I definitely want to encourage everyone to visit ReneeMusicOfficial.com. Keep up with the tour dates and all the music coming up. And I will link that in uh, the description below in this video. And be sure to connect with them on social media from there. You can also find their music on all the streaming platforms. We just really look forward to seeing what's coming up next for you. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you for so having much. us again. Man, this has just been so amazing. Thank you so much. You're always so sweet and we love your ministry so much and we support it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for having us. Bye. Bye.